$1,074,446. Please stand for the national anthem and remain standing for the invocation given by Peyton Williams. <laughs> Please pray with me. Dear Lord, be with us as we gather here today in celebration of the still we are taking for into life. Guide us as we encounter new places, new people, and new experiences. Let us not forget the blessings that follow us behind us. For our families who have been with us through good times and bad times. For this school, giving us a safe place to learn and a foundation to build upon as we take this step into the world. For our teachers who have been generous with their time and understanding our needs, even when we're at our worst. On this day, especially, we thank you for the friends we have found among our classmates, for all the jokes that we will laugh about in the years to come. For the hardships and the tears we have endured together, side by side. And for your love, which has been made and definite through the relationships we will carry with us. Just as our alma maters say, let us continue to be worthy and true. Let us love each other and fearless and seek your willing, earning list all the days of our lives. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, now let's try it again. It is my pleasure to introduce you to the class of 2022's salutatorian, Zoe Hurd. family, friends, staff, and administrators. Thank you all for coming here to celebrate this special moment with the graduating class of 2022. I'd like to personally thank my family. I can be a very difficult person to put up with at times, but you never give up on me. You've helped me get to where I am now, as well as Coach Hubbard and Coach Pila. These two women are not just coaches, but they are my family. Both of you have helped me through all of my ups and downs, as well as wiped away a few of my tears. 
I would not be who I am today without this amazing group of people. As many of you know, Ashdown School District likes to think of itself as a family. I can honestly say that we are a family. The class of 2022 is special. The young group of ladies and gentlemen sitting, sitting before you are the definition of a family. They are devoted to helping and pushing one another, whether it's with schoolwork, sports, or even helping sneak a guinea pig around the school. <laughs> this is an impeccable group of young adults. We hold each other to the highest of standards, so later on, we will be able to say we accomplished something amazing. This accomplishment is only one step into the journey of our adult lives. We started off graduating kindergarten, wondering if the first grade was going to be as fun as the year before. Being able to color, play all day, and most importantly, take a nap. Then years later, it was our eighth grade graduation. I was so nervous to go into high school. Wasn't sure if I would be able to get around without being trampled, but there was one thing I was extremely excited about new older boys now the day has come the most important graduation although i said i was ready to graduate i knew deep down that i wasn't most of us are 17 and 18 years old we are now going into the real world there are many different paths we are all taking college work military or many other vocations no matter what you choose to do I know that you will be successful. We have been equipped with the necessary tools to be able to take on any task that is thrown at us. We have to go head first into it with confidence and faith. Coming into high school, I didn't have much of a plan. The only thing I knew that I did not want to go to college, didn't even care about graduating high school, I didn't even want to, go to get a job. I was young and impressionable. As the years went on, I realized that I had to do something with my life. So I decided that I was going to graduate high school and get a job. This year, my future goal changed. Although some of us are going straight to work, it was no longer the right course for me. The significance of this story is that I wanted to point out two teachers, Mr. Hopkins and Ms. Ardwin. Throughout my high school career, they have always encouraged me to do something with myself, but they never tried to force it upon me. They told me my options and tried to make sure I would be prepared for after high school. Even if I decided I was, still was not going to go to college, they would still stand behind me. If you got the opportunity to know either of them, consider yourself lucky. They are compassionate, charismatic, patient, and understanding. And I will forever be grateful for them. Lastly, I would like to tell my classmates to have faith. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. You must have faith in yourself, but also have faith in God. Through all of your happiness, struggles, and pain, look towards him. He will continue to guide you through it. Thank you. It's now my honor to introduce to you the 2022 Valid Coin for the Ashtown High School, Landon Wright. Wow, here we are. We did it, guys. Congratulations on getting here. It's been a long, bumpy road with lots of obstacles. One of the most prominent being COVID, of course. We lost nearly half our sophomore year due to COVID. In our junior year, hardly anyone came to school, and those who did were forced to quarantine, what seemed like every other week. We had to deal with the masks, the virtual learning, and just an all-around bad experience. But yet, here we are, we made it. To start my list of thanks, I first must thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for putting me in the position I am in today. Without Him, I am nothing. I want to say, if you do not know Jesus as your personal Savior, 
I encourage you to know that there is a God who loves you so much that He gave His only Son, and His name is Jesus. He won't leave you or forsake you. He loves you so much, and He wants you to, He wants to be your Savior. And all we have to do is let Him. I encourage you to go to a trusted Christian friend, family member, or pastor and ask them about being saved. And go to church this Sunday because He is calling for you. Next, I would like to thank my parents and my sister. They have been my biggest supporters my entire life. They have long instilled in me the love of Jesus and the love of family. They've taught me character, perseverance, and honesty throughout these many years. No one has been more supportive during my schooling, whether it was coming to check on me at 12 o'clock at night while I was doing homework or helping me study for a test. They have been by my side every step of the way. Thank you, Mom, Dad, and Kyle. I love you. Furthermore, my grandparents have been a massive part of my support system. Whether it was going fishing with my papa all at night and causing my nana to worry to death, or cooking me fried fish or eggs or sweet tea as soon as I asked. Thank y'all so much for everything. I love you. Thank you to my grandpa and grandma for picking me up from school as a kid to go and rabbit hunting in the winter. I truly appreciate everything you've done. Thank you. I love you. I also want to thank my grandma Colin. Even though we've never been able to meet in person, I know you're watching online, and I still thank you for your prayers and support these many years. I love you. Next, I want to thank my church, Ashdown First Assembly of God, for praying for me and believing in me all these years. I have long thought of, I have one of the greatest support systems because I knew my church was praying for me. I would like to mention all of my pastors, past and present, Pastor Donnie and Lisa Deloney, Pastor Miller and Virgil Hewitt, and Pastor Joe and Heather Martinez. Thank you for all you do. I also need to thank my youth pastor, Royce Mullins. You're a brother to me. I can't verbalize how much you mean to me and how much you've impacted my life. Every one of you have helped instill a love of Jesus that I'm eternally uh, grateful for. I would also like to thank the teachers and staff of Ashton School District for not only teaching me, but being such an influence and shaping me into who I am today. Thank you all. Thank you, Mr. Pounds, Mr. Avery, Mr. Palmasano, and the entire Ashton High School Purple Pride Marching Band for instilling a love of music and drumming that I will carry with me for the rest of my life. And lastly, I want to thank the Ashdown coaching staff, past and present. I can honestly say no other group of men have uh, influenced me the way you have. Coach McClellan, Coach McRoy, Coach Baker, Coach Scarborough, Coach Norwood, Coach Chuck Cross, Coach Eric Cross, and of course, Coach David Wilson. Thank you for all your guidance and coaching these last few years. And Coach Rich, I saved you for last because I can honestly say that no single person has impacted me in my life more than you have at school. Your love of Christ and love of people shows in everything you do, and it's been an honor and blessing to be under your coaching these last three years. Thank you so much for everything you've done. I must also mention the students of our senior class. I can't call out every one of you, but thank you for not only being a part of my life, but having a hand in making it memorable. I do want to name Trent Roberts and Jason Green and thank them for being my best friends through this journey. I'm praying for both of you, and thank you for being there for me. Now that thanks are out of the way, I would like to leave you with a thought. I'll ask you a question. Who are you? What do I mean by that? I mean, who are you as a person? What do people think when they see you at Walmart or McDonald's? Are you kind, trustworthy, honest, loving, respectful, responsible? And most of all, are you following Christ? I encourage you to look deep inside yourself as we are about to go out into the world and think, who am I? We need to be a light in the world of darkness. We need to be someone that people can run to in times of trouble. We need to be able to act the same around someone like Brother Jim as we would our friends. First John 1 John 1.7 says, But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus, his Son, purifies us from all sin. If we walk in accordance to God's will and try our hardest to become more and more like Jesus every day, then we will be that light in the darkness. So as we go off to college, trade school, and the workforce, remember to walk in the light and in turn be a light to others. My favorite verse is Deuteronomy 31.6, which says, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. 
as this chapter comes to a close and another begins, do not be afraid of the world or the future. Because if you allow him, Christ will be with you every step of the way. And to finish this off, in honor of the Ashton High School Class of 2022, Coach Baker, I need you to get a lap. And in the words of Coach Wilson, how about the Panthers? Thank you. God bless. Mr. Nichols and the members of the Ashdown School Board. After, after careful review of the academic records of the students who are before you, I certify that they have met the requirements of the Ashdown High School in the state of Arkansas and are qualified candidates to receive their high school diploma. Row one, stand. <laughs> Landon Wayne Wright. Zoe Savannah Hurd. <laughs> Alyssa Dawn Mills. <laughs> Landon Ray Rowe. Spencer Cade Patterson. <laughs> Ashley Kendall Waller. Elizabeth Brower. <laughs> Benjamin Edwin Atkinson. <laughs> Jackson Wade Jester. Eric Wilson Bishop. Blake Alexander Bowles. Joseph Dalton Russell. <laughs> Kaylee Lynn Turner. Trenton Blake on heart.
first row, please be seated. Row two, stand. Angela Marie Bailey. Alexis Marie Johnson. <laughs> William Zane Adney. <laughs> James Nathan Adelot. Sarah Grace Bowman. <laughs> Tyler Wayne Barnum. Clara Victoria Bush. Christopher Lawrence Cherry. Jacob Lucas Crawford Clayton. Jonathan Richard Cox. Elizabeth Ann. <laughs> Micah Ray Cromer. <laughs> Jessica Renetta Marie Pressel. Alicia Renee Diggles. Please be seated. Oh, Row three, please stand. Kiana Lachey Dawson. <laughs> Chevy. Elaine Flournoy. <laughs> Jacob Hunter Formby. <laughs> Damari LaShawn Briggs. Michael Wayne Waco Friday. 
Zion Amar Gasper. <laughs> Tiana Lachey Gibson. <laughs> Shania Labria Goss. Jason Scott Brin. <laughs> Keontre Grants. Javon Lee Hart. <laughs> Johnny Lee Hart. Dawson Neil Hearn. Please be seated. Row four, please stand. Tony Ray House. <laughs> Emma Charlene Isham. Zachary Taylor Johnson. Dalton Andrew Lansdale. Evan Michael Livingston. Danya Marie Markham. Jackson James McCormick.
McKinley, Kalise, Ane, McCullough. <laughs> Emily Michelle McDowell. Dylan Lee McFadden. <laughs> Merrick. Lane Miller. <laughs> Raylan Asan Lewis Millside. Row four, you may be seated. Row five, please stand. Decorian Roman Millsack. <laughs> Zakai Nicole Muldrew. Norman. Jacob Owens.
William Richard Rothmar. Row five, please be seated. Row six, please stand. Ramaya Gabrielle Sanders. Xavier O'Brien Sanders. Lacey Nicole Scott. Kali Lachey Shelton. Ariel Lakin Shimei. Lauren Grace Sizemore. Zoe Stanley. <laughs> Courtney Leanne Stone. <laughs> Ashton. Leon <laughs> Jordan Christopher Todd Marcel Lakey Turner Robert Bott. Jalen Grace Wolf. <laughs> Row six, please be seated. Row seven, please stand. Lucas Lee Wooden. <laughs> De 
Kevin Yabara. Jasmine Young. Seated. Please rise for the alma mater, followed by the benediction given by Zanya Markham. together for many years. Please, God, and protect the class of 2022. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. The graduates will exit in a few moments and I ask all guests to remain seated as we watch them leave the field that holds many memories for them. Graduates will go through the building and meet guests in the cafeteria for a reception. Please join us after the ceremony. What a basic group of young men and young women. Parents, you've done a fine job. As superintendent of the Ashdown High School, it is my honor to have you, the graduating class of 2022, move your tassels from the right to the left side of your cap.
by the authority vested in me by the state of Arkansas and the Ashdown Board of Trustees, it is my honor and privilege to present to you the graduating class of 2022. Congratulations and God bless.